down Greg Lee, and this is Nitro. She's a dental technician who loves celebrity gossip. She's Fiona DeScala. And he says his most embarrassing moment was on his first date with his wife. He's Scott Allen Plummer. Let's play Nitro, everybody. Oh, yeah. How you guys doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Nitro. You guys ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. You know what you have to do? You have to get around this track by answering questions and performing stunts. Uh, we're going to find out how much you know about the new cable networks you can see right here on this channel. The first one of you that actually crosses the finish line then will go on to the Nitro Void, okay? Uh, one more thing for those of you watching at home, here is today's secret name. <laughs> Anytime you use it as a correct answer, you move ahead two spaces, okay? So, Fiona, if you'll swap places with me real quick, we'll get started with our very first list question. Scott, we're going to you first, okay? Here we go. What's the main characters on the original cartoon, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Uh... Scooby. <laughs> Brilliant. Very good, yes. Fiona. Veronica. <clears throat> no Veronica. So we're on our way, Scott. You move up number one right here, buddy. Okay. Very good. You have your remote control with you? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Reach up there and uh, zap the channel. Ah, uh, yes, it's the Nostalgia Channel. A look back at yesterday through film news and classic programs. You like old movies? Oh, yeah. What's your favorite old movie? Uh... Casablanca. Ah, ah, it's a classic, fabulous. Listen, right now, Nostalgia Television takes us on a trip down memory lane. Take a look. When the pin busters get together for a national tournament, there's plenty of science and plenty of noise. Everyone strives to make the perfect score. In the United States and Canada, there are approximately 20 million devotees to the sport and over 10,000 alleys to take care of them. And now we're going to see what kind of a pin buster you are, my friend. Right here with the Nitro Bot, everybody. <laughs> All right, here's what you have to do. The Nitro Bot is here. There are 10 pins right up there. All you have to do is knock down all the pins with the Nitro Bot. We're going to give you 20 seconds to do it. If you do it in 20 seconds, you move ahead the two spaces. All right? Okay. Just that simple. Let's get 20 seconds on the clock, please. There it is. On your mark. Get set. Go, buddy. Don't get those pins. Whoa! He's off to the side. He's going for a gentleman. Whoa! Almost half size. I think he's put there's one. There's two. Come on, buddy. Got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. This is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> he's coming back at us. Four. Three. Oh, no, he got the cameraman. Yeah. Nice job, bud. You didn't get the pins, but you got the cameraman. That's not bad. Come on. All right, buddy, come right here. We're still on one, but that's okay because we've got another list question coming up. And uh, Fiona, since you're behind, we're going to start with you, okay? Here we go. Watch the list motion pictures featuring Macaulay Culkin. Fiona. Richie Rich. Is right. Scott. Home Alone. Is also right. Fiona. Home Alone 2. Is right again. Scott. The Good Son. Oh, nice one. Yes. Fiona. Getting even with Deb. Very good. Scott. No. <laughs> that old movie, no, of course. <laughs> Fiona, you're moving ahead three. Let's go, buddy. Up to space three. Nice job. Right here's good. You got your uh, remote control with you? Yeah. Your remote control? You're quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. Reach up here and uh, look at the channel. Either one of those. Let me go. Ah, yes. It's Turner Classic Movies. The greatest movies of all time, all the time. What's your favorite movie of all time? Oh, yes. Yeah, great flex. Excellent. Let's check out a scene now from Manpower. Why, four years ago, 30,000 votes went right straight through my body. Next day, I was back on the poll. You had 30,000 votes go right straight through you and nothing happened? Nothing. Except for a month, every time I kissed my wife, her ears would light up. Oh. And speaking of lighting things up, we have a lamp here we'd like you to turn on, but you know electricity can be fairly dangerous, so we have this nice, big, long, 10-foot pole that we'd like you to do it with. All you have to do is plug in the light. To make things interesting, we have this nitro bat. We want you to put your head down like this, spin it on it five times, and if you can do all that within 20 seconds, you'll move ahead to two spaces. All right, my friend? I'm ready. All right, step right. this way. Let's get 20 seconds on the clock, please. Thank you. On your mark. Get set. Go. Here we go. Coming around. That's one. Here we go, buddy. That's two. Here we go. That's three. You're going. That's four. One more time. That's five. Here we go. Pick up your pull. Pick up your pull. Here you go. You got it, buddy. You got eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get in here, buddy. Come on. Oh! So close. You all right? 
Let's yeah. go back to the game board. Come on. All right, buddy. So you're right here in three. We got a very close game going. Thanks for the change, though, I think, because now it's time for the grid game. We're going to ask our players to uh, look at a TV program grid. We're going to give them 15 seconds to study it. Then for every program they can remember, they will move ahead one space. Take a look at the grid right now. The networks are the Travel Channel, the Music Zone, Planet Central Television, the Military Channel, and Turner, Turner Classic Movies. Okay, that's your 15 seconds. <laughs> You're at Fiona. Scott, we're starting with you. What do you remember from the grid? Travel show. Is right, Fiona. Electric coffee? Sure. Scott. Meltdown. Is right, Fiona. Casablanca. Is right, Scott. The yearling. Is also right, Fiona. Retro perspective. <clears throat> oh no, really? Okay, what else do you know from the grid, Scott? Um, not a thing. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yes, that old program, not a thing. Okay, but here's why I like the grid game. Everybody's moving. You're going two. You're going three, my friend. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Come right back here, Scott. Okay. All right. Very close game going here. We got to take a quick pit stop. Before we go, though, we're going to ask our audience this question. Do you think Gomer Pyle accurately reflects life in the military? Only that woman knows for sure. We have more night show coming up later. Lots of thrills on the superhighway. Look around. <laughs> Learning is the framework of wisdom. The Learning Channel on TV Network. Glad I could help. That subscriber was curious about the animated border that frames all the programs on TV Network. She wanted to know why it's there. Well, it's simple. There's no other network like TV Network. Who else gives you 20 channels on one channel? TV Network wants you to know what you're watching when you tune in. And there's lots of program information, logos, and tune-in info you'll be interested in. It's a unique way to present television that's new and entertaining. That's TV. Cable TV, may I help you? You're invited to the stars. Free preview. Thank you. With great movies and your favorite stars, it's your chance to sample stars. The premium movie service bringing you big movies and more. An entire weekend free. Okay. See The River Wild, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Mask, and many more. It's a TV on! The stars free for all. Coming October 21st and 22nd. See it here on TV. Thy family loveth to play video games. How might thy group play a multitude of games for a pittance? Try thine Sega chess. What's in it for us? Great classic games. One can test new games and compete in exciting contests. More than a half hundred games. In your dwelling, for a fair pound, and all on cable. Sega Channel. Get it? With cable, thou will. Do try this at home. Tonight, show. before we left, we asked our audience this question. Do you think Gomer Pyle accurately reflects life in the military? We're going to find out what our players think about that right now. We're going to start with you, my friend. What percentage of our audience do you think said Gomer Pyle is accurate? 17%. Ooh, 17%. Fiona, how about you? 50%. Let's see what the actual numbers are. Oh, very close, my friend. You move ahead one. Nice right. job. We're tied. Let's come over here, Fiona, just a little bit. You'll come right in here and toss those cards. We don't even need them anymore. Nice job, everybody. Okay, on to our very next list question. But before we do that, uh, here's this great story about your first date with your wife. What's the deal with that? Well, it was also the first time I've ever, I ever had menudo, and uh, they didn't mix too well, and I, I sort of threw up. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what a lovely romantic story that yeah, is. But uh, evidently, I didn't bother her that much. So you're still married? Yes. Yeah. How long have you been married? Uh, Eleven Yes. Oh, that's fabulous. That's a nice job, isn't it? Oh, hey, hey! 
Time for a cold spell. I think we have popcorn in that particular one, actually, because it's in my ear right now. So listen very clo uh, closely, guys. Uh, you saw Daphne uh, Zuniga in The Sure Thing back in 1985, and these days you watch her as Joe on Melrose Place. The question is, though, can you spell her name? So uh, we're going to start with you. I want you to spell Daphne Zuniga one letter at a time, starting with you, then you, and because we only have two players. Okay? okay? So here we go, Scott. Starting with you. D. Is right. Fiona. Okay. Is also right. Scott. P. Is right. Fiona. H. Is right. Scott. N. Is right. Fiona. E. Is right. Scott. V. Is right. Fiona. U. Is right. Scott. N. Is right. Fiona. J. J. <coughs> Oh, no, no, no. We got five and four. Guess he's moving five. Let's go, Scott, right here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Nice job, my friend. You have your, uh, your remote control here? Yes. All right. Let's go to Zappos channel right up there, please. <laughs> oh, it's Cable News Network International, the world's leading 24-hour global information network. You big news head? News uh, junkie? No. No? No. Not at all? No. I am, actually. So, this is for me. The United Nations is celebrating its 50th anniversary at the site where it was founded a half century ago. Delegates from around the world are in San Francisco and California. U.S. President Clinton will give the keynote address. During a weekend newspaper interview, Mr. Clinton spoke of inefficiencies in U.N. peacekeeping operations. Well, we all know how important ambassadors are to the peace process, uh, but the problem here is we have uh, all these ambassadors who cannot find their way home. Over here, we have a big board with four continents and 16 UN member states. What you're going to have to do, Scott, is simply this. You just have to take these ambassadors, and I'll show you what you have to do. You're just going to come on over here, and you're going to try to get five of them to stick on just like that, okay? Um, of course, you're going to be blindfolded. We're going to, I want to give you 20 seconds to try to get five of them on, okay? Let's go ahead and put the blindfold on. Okay. Very good. And I'll lead you right over here to the board. Come right this way. Okay. Step right here. Very good. And there is the board. And here's your first ambassador right here, okay, with a sticky on the back. Let's get 20 seconds on the clock, please. On your mark, get set, go, Scott. Try to put him on there. That's the first one. There's the second one. Oh, he's going. Nice job. You got one. There's two. Nice job. There's, uh, I'll go that. You're going to lose the board. There's, there's three. Nice job. Keep it going, Scott. Let's go, buddy. That's all right. Four. Come on. Here goes number five. You got it. You got it. You got it. Take off your blindfold. You all right? Yeah. Nice job. Head back to the game, boys. Come on. All right, my friend, you are a 10. You're going up to 12. Nice job, buddy. But right now, i got to talk to Fiona. i got to ask you what the celebrity got. <laughs> are you the one, do you buy those, like, the star and the Inquirer and stuff? Just the star. Just the star, the quality stuff. That's right. And what's your favorite celebrity you like to uh, gossip about? Mostly George Strait. Oh, George Strait. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, we'll see if we can do a little of that for you there, Fiona. Okay. Right now, we have another list question coming up. We're going to start with you since you're behind Fiona. We want you to list the regular characters on the TV show, Roseanne. Starting with you, Fiona. Roseanne. Oh, that's the secret name. Come up, come two more right up here, buddy. Very good. And you have one on the board. Scott, same question for you. Um, regular characters on the TV show, Roseanne. Uh, Nothing there? That means Fiona, you got one. You move ahead one more. Nice job, my friend. All right. Got some more clicker for you? I do. All right. Go ahead and zap us the channel, my friend. <laughs> oh, it's the box. Music, television, you control. I wonder who your favorite uh, artist is. Oh, George. George Strange. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> Let's take a look now at Mr. Personality by Gillette. <laughs> Fiona, I, I have to be honest with you and apologize. Uh, normally, we have a fantastic stunt planned every time. Lots of planning, money goes in each one of them. But unfortunately, this time, I've been left with this for a stunt, and I don't know what to do. I, well, I, I appreciate it. What are we going to do with it, though? <laughs> uh, wait a minute, I have an idea. Come here. Follow me. Come right this way. Come here. Have an idea. Brett, how you doing? This is one of our camera guys. Would you mind if Fiona used your uh, camera real quick? Sure. I have an idea for a quick stunt here. 
Then we're left with nothing. Okay, good. What we're going to do is, I'm, I'm going to turn this ball on, okay. and then as it hops around, if you can keep the ball in the frame for 20 seconds, then I'll let you move ahead to two spaces, okay? All right. All right. If it goes out one time, that's okay. All right, but two times, no I'm deal. Out. All right? I got it. Let's get a shot, guys. Let's get 20 seconds up on the clock, please. Here we go. I'm turning it on. <laughs> on your mark. Get set. Go. Keep it in frame, Fiona. Keep it in frame, buddy. Nice job. Oh, she's a pro. She's a pro. Excellent. Watch out. Watch out. Don't let it come through. You got 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five. Okay, back to the game board. Come okay. on. All right, buddy, you're at eight. You're going up to ten. Nice job. Got a close game going here, guys. Got to take a quick pit stop before we go. We're going to ask the audience this question. Have you ever thrown anything at the TV set? Chances are that young man has. We'll be back with more thrills on the superhighway right after this. Don't go anywhere. No. The last word in music television is D music. D music sizzles with contemporary Christian music videos. Watch it here on TV Network. Jeff Vaughn, Army combat veteran, showroom warrior, likes maps, cars, and where they take you. I've set a simple goal. Watch Journey to the Edge on TV. The Travel Channel will take you there. Watch Journey to the Edge every Sunday afternoon on the Travel Channel on TV. There's also Lonely Planet and Earth Journey. Jeff, we've got a deal for you. Unique travel entertainment every Sunday afternoon from the Travel Channel on TV Network. The Travel Channel. Great mileage, low maintenance. Set a simple goal. Watch TV Network. TV Network is your window on the cable world with samples from more than 20 networks. Here's what else you can find on cable. Stars and Encore in October. If it's movies you want, really good movies, then look no further than Stars and Encore in October. Stars, where you'll see big hits from the 90s. <laughs> Fantastic! And Encore, showing your favorites from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Stars and Encore, two great channels, tons of great movies. Just two of the great channels from PCI Choice Theater. Look for quality programming on your cable system today. that break we asked our audience this question have you ever thrown anything at the tv set now we're going to find out from our players what they say fiona we're going to start with you what percentage of our audience do you think said they have thrown thrown things at the television set 37 37 percent scott what percentage do you think 23 percent. 23 percent let's see the real numbers oh fiona nice job take this place right here Pass goes away nice job very close game we're going on to our next first question Start with you, Fiona. Here we go. I want you to list the family members on the Partridge family. Go ahead. Danny. Danny. Scott. Keith. Is right. Fiona. Tracy. Is right. Scott. Shirley. We know this Partridge family stuff. Fiona. Brian. <clears throat> no, Brian? Really? It's two and two. If you give me one more, you move ahead three. Tracy. Oh, we already said that one. Okay, so two and two. We're going to go on to the next list question. Fiona, listen very carefully. Uh, we want you to list the regular characters on Frasier. Frasier. <laughs> very good. Scott. Um, um. <laughs> it's 
Funny how that happens. Yeah. You ought to step right up here and join us. Here you go. All right. You got that clicker with you? I got it. Okay, go ahead and reach up there and zap the channel. Oh, yes, it's the military channel, the eyes and ears of the military. You been in the military? No. Neither have I. Have you? No. There you go. The experts right here. Watch this. The aerial resupply of Berlin. It was bigger than anything any of us had ever been involved in. Even the D-Day vets were impressed. Army, Navy, Air Force, English, French, American. We were all involved. All right, and now it's time for you to do a little airlift of your own. Over there, we have a city that's in trouble. Okay. <laughs> that's what that is. Take my word for it. Over here, we have a bunch of supply planes, okay? What you're going to have to do is fly these supply tra uh, trains, planes, inside of that circle there. If you get the body of the plane inside, then it's going to count. If you get three of those planes within 20 seconds, you're going to move ahead to two stages. If you don't, they're going out for Chinese, okay? All so, right. here we go. 20 seconds of the clock, if you would, please. <laughs> On your mark, get set. Go, buddy. Fly those planes. Huh? Fly those planes. Here we go. Got to get them in there. Got to get a little lower there. All right. Next hit, my friend. Oh, got one there. Here you go. Go ahead. Get them on three there. Boom. Oh. oh, I don't know if that one counted or not. Well, it's coming. I tried to keep going, though. Here we go. Oh. Did that one count at all? It did. We got one. That's not bad. Come on back to the game board. Come on. All right, buddy. You're still at 12. We're still going to... High gain going on here. Things are going to get very interesting, though, because right over there, we have set the finish line a mere five spaces ahead of where both of you are. So, anything can happen, but in order to get to the next round, you've got to get past the finish line to enter the Nitro Void. So, no more stunts. Now, all we have are the list questions, which I'm going to start with right now. So, Scott, since you were here first, you're going to start this one, okay? Here we go. I want you to name the witches and warlocks on the TV series Bewitched. Um, Esmeralda. Here's what. Come on. <clears throat> oh, what about Samantha? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Scott, you move one. Come up here, buddy. All right. He didn't get too far. We still have a lot to go, okay? Start with you again. Here we go. Name the cities that have hosted or will host the Winter Olympics between 1968 and 1998. Fiona. Sorry, is right, Scott. Grenoble. Is right, Fiona. Calgary. Now we're rocking, Scott. Lake Placid. Nice job, Fiona. <clears throat> two and two. I need one more from you to go three. Sapporo. Is right. You're three. You're on the car. One, two, and three. Over the car. That's two. And here is three. Scott, you need one more to go to the Nitro Void. Okay. Fiona, you can still catch it. Here we go with our next one. want you to name the regular performers on the variety show in living color. Fiona. Jim um, Carrey. Is right. Scott. Uh, Damon Wayans. Is right. Fiona. Keenan Ivory Wayans. Is good. Is right. Scott. Look who's coming too. Fiona, come up here on the car with us. We've got three people on the bus stand. All right, coming to you, Fiona. Here we go. We are going to head south now on the travel channel. Name the countries of South America, Fiona. South America. Um. <clears throat> oh, nothing there. Scott, just need one and you enter the Nitro Void. Chile. Is right. Enter the Nitro Void, my friend. You want to come on down here? Oh, man. Come here, buddy. Come right over. Come here, Fiona. <laughs> this is an excellent game, you guys. So close. Fabulous work. Fiona, you did a great job. And to show you our appreciation, we have this lovely TV oh, on a screen. Huh? It's a great little prize. Thank Thanks you. for playing. It's great having you. Scott, stick around. You guys stick around, too, because now we're going to find out if Scott can answer those 10 questions and get that home entertainment system. Do not go anywhere. Good. Harvey Selkirk, attorney at law. Next deadline, right now. Believes justice can be done. Good guys do win. I've set a simple goal. Watch Johnny Quest on TV.
Harvey picks his heroes carefully. Johnny Quest, Space Ghost, Moxie, The Jetsons, and Cartoon Planet. The very best in cartoons for the whole family. Where do you find it, Counselor? The Cartoon Network. Every Friday night, right here on TV Network. Haji, now he'd be one cool customer in the courtroom. Set a simple goal. Watch TV Network. on TV Network. Movies, specials, classics, and fun for the whole family. Stay tuned for the Disney Channel. Welcome back tonight to everybody where we're going to ask Scott 10 questions. If he gets none of them right, we're going to give him this lovely set that we found out back. If he gets one right, it's a little better, two right, a little better, so on and so forth. But buddy, if you get all 10 right, you're going to get this fantastic home entertainment center. <laughs> Ten questions. You get to pick the category. Here are your choices. CNN International. Court TV. Or the Military Channel. Which shall it be, my friend? Uh, CNN International. Okay, let's go to the Nitro Boy. Come on, man. Okay. You went 17 square spaces. That means we're going to double that. You have 34 seconds to answer 10 questions about CNN International. You can pass any time you want, okay? Okay. Let's get 34 seconds up on the clock. Okay. Good luck, my friend. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. What presidential pet succeeded Millie in the White House? Uh, Fox. In 1994, South Africa elected its first black president. What's his name? Um, Nelson Mandela. According to the 1990 census in the U.S., population greater or less than 200 million. Greater. What U.S. president's name was Milhouse? Uh, Richard M. Nixon. For what crime was Michael Fay Kane in Singapore? Um, graffiti. What male interviewer was recently kissed by Marlon Brando on live TV? Um, Larry Kane. For someone to Oh, how many did you get? Six. This is a nice one, buddy. Come on. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite ones. Get a little VCR in here, oh, too. Oh, all right. Great. Congratulations, Scott. You've had a great game. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Nitro, everybody. Take it easy. This is a great thing. All right. Yeah, really good. Nice. 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 N